Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at multiplying whole numbers part 2. If you missed part 1 I put the link in the description so check part 1 out and then you come, can come back to part 2. So these are instructional videos on multiplying whole numbers and after we get through part 2 you can hop over to the mastery check where you can test your skills to, to see if you have it down. So much like part one, we have four multiplication problems we are going to go through together. And then, like I said, you will do the mastery check on your own to see if you have it down. So you should have a piece of paper and something to write with because you will go through these problems with me. That will be much more beneficial than just sitting there listening to me talk. So we're going to start with number one here. And we have a three by one, a three digit number by a one digit number. And as we go through, we will increase in difficulty. Like number two, we have a two by two, number three, a three by two, and then number four, a three by three. All right, so we're gonna rewrite these problems vertically, which means up and down, and then just go through our multiplying, our multiplication process here. So we take the three to the one, three times one is three, 3 to the 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 7, 27. Put our comma in, we are done. 2,793. So like I mentioned in part 1, knowing your multiplication facts is very, very important here. Because all this is, is just repeated multiplication facts, making sure you have stuff lined up remembering placeholder zeros, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you know your facts, very helpful here. So let's go to number two, we have a two by two. So in this one, we are going to have two partial products that we add together. Remember, we don't go seven times two is 14, and then six times eight is 48, plus one is 49 and circle our answer. Incorrect, okay? You have to take the seven to the two and the eight, and then the six to the two and the eight. So let's start with seven times two is 14, and then you take the seven to the eight. Seven times eight is 56, plus one is 57. So would that be our answer? Are we done? No, we're done with the seven, so we can cross that out. And we're done with this regrouped one, so we can cross that out. So we don't get confused later if we have any other numbers up top there. So the value of this six right here is 60. So we put a placeholder zero here to make that six worth that 60. So, and then we start with six times two is 12. And then six times eight is 48, plus one is 49. Now we're ready to add our partial products. These are our partial products. We add them together to get our product, which means answer to a multiplication problem. So four plus zero is four. Seven plus two is nine. Five plus nine is 14. And then one plus four is five. So 5,000. 494. All right, let's step it up a notch here. We have a three by two. Same rules apply. Take the two to every number and then the five. So two times one is two. Two times four is eight. Two times three is six. Done with the two. All right, now we need to take that five which has, has a value of 50, so we need a placeholder zero. Five times one is five. Five times this four right here is 20. And then five times three is 15, plus two is 17. See how we have to be nice and lined up here for our last step when we add. Take a look over here to the left. Let's say if you have all of your numbers like this and you need to add them up, there's n no way of knowing, okay, two plus zero is two and then the five to the eight or is the eight to the zero, you know? So make sure you are nice and neat and everything is lined up. 
2 plus 0 is 2, 8 plus 5 is 13, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7, 1. 17,732. And then lastly, we have a 3 by 3. A little extra step here, but nothing really that different. So let's take the five to each digit. Five times nine is 45. Five times one is five plus four is nine. Five times four is 20. Done with the five, done with the four. This three right here is worth 30, so let's put our zero. Three times nine is 27. Three times one is three plus two is five and then 3 times 4 is 12. Done, done. Now our next step, don't forget we have this 2 here and that 2's value is 200 so we need two placeholder zeros. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 1 is 2 plus this 1 up here is 3 and then 2 times 4 is 8. And then we have three partial products for this. Same thing, just add them up. 5, 16, 6 plus 8 is 14, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 3 is 8, and then 1 plus 8 is 9. So we get to 98,465. So those are our four multiplying whole numbers problems for part two. That gives us a total of eight multiplication problems between part one and part two. So hopefully you are ready to try some on your own. I will see you over at the mastery check. I dropped the link below in the description and you can test yourself here to see if you have it down. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.